It's dark as fuck. Well, what are we doing today? We've got a special guest with us here today. Introduce Hello. yourself. Hi, my name is Mo. And where are you from, Mo? Uh, from X Force. And what are we doing today? We're installing a X Force catback system for the G80 M3. Eddie's G80. Let's introduce you to the the Stig. Hello. What are we doing today? Why are you keeping us here till fucking eight o'clock after hours? We're not really after hours. This is what we do. This is when we start. <laughs> We only just opened up today, so we're ready to go. So let's get this done. I think it's good that we started documenting this shit because all our missus think we're, we do is just sit at work, hang out. But we've got living evidence. Mo's out here till late. So auntie, if you're wondering where your son is at all these late hours, he's with us. He's nowhere dangerous. We're on holidays and we're here working with our hands. Well, shout out to Nathan. Fuck you, Nathan. <laughs> we work closely with the boys at X-Force. They have generously sponsored the shop car. We basically want to test everything out before we start selling it. And all of this is getting replaced today. All brace has to come off. And then we're going to undo it from right there. And this whole thing gets replaced. Should be fun. There's the X Force exhaust. It's gonna go on, so we're just gonna build it, install it. Hopefully, we can after we just had our shawarma. Shawarma. For all you white people who don't know what this is, it's the best sandwich on earth. What are we doing now? We're removing. Taking this box out. Taking this box out. Putting the muffler out. Yes. That's exactly what it looks like. Wow. I won't be Watch your head, Mo. So Mo's gonna tell us something interesting now about. X Force and actual thought that goes into the system. So let me turn the camera around and I'll get them to explain. So these ones are traditionally always the motors that we use for Varex motors or Varex valves. Um, so just a little bit about Varex technology. It's a patented design. So basically, X Force is the only company that can integrate a valve inside a muffler, which is what makes these so special. So if you have a look at the G80 M3 system. You see that the valves are outside the muffler. That's why they have to do four pipes going inside. So two primary, which are the loud ones, and then two of the smaller ones, which is the quiet ones. Whereas we have only two pipes going inside the muffler. And then inside it has the baffles to create the loud and the quiet chambers. And when it opens up <coughs> the valve, it's 100% open. Yeah, basically. Whereas the You can do the variation. So like on this one, we're gonna be using these um, plugs so that we could integrate the uh, factory bimodal system so that means the exhaust button in the console you could press it or open and close that basically is connected to our smart box which translates the signal but the beauty about that is that you can open the phone and override the vehicle's function so you could have it open and close whenever you want which is also a benefit so that's good it's a no-brainer yeah it's good and it's that's why good. we work with x-force x-force so part numbers this one um, this is ES BMG80, so BMW G80, and then you'll see here it says C1R. Yeah, so C1R means center section one, and R is obviously right side. So this pipe is going to go on the front right, so the driver side. And then yeah, there's going to be well one. Thought of everything. Who one, comes up with this? You? Uh, not me. Our whole team, really. Yeah, uh, it's good. See what a humble <laughs> man didn't even take credit for this on his own. No, Matt actually designed the system. He did a really good job on it really good yeah it's really really good so that's c1l so c1l so that means it goes on the left side see so you're not just buying some piping from some random exhaust shop everything's actually thought of planned properly designed properly and that's why it's a brand that we actually want to start working with and we're going to focus on working with this year so three is the third section of the center section so it'll go one Two, and then these basically are what connects to the muffler. Okay. So that's the back. Um, I was saying earlier that this is a full V-band um, system. So What's this the, is probably what? the best 
type of connection you can get for an exhaust because it's just so seamless. But the front is a two bolt flange because that's what the factory output is, as you could see. Yeah, so it makes it easier for people to install themselves. They don't even need to take it to like a shop or anything like that. If they've got a hoist or yep. they've got access to one. Yep. Where they don't need to modify anything. It just bolts on straight, yep. yeah? Exactly, yeah. So these V-bands as well, these V-band flanges, some of them will have a lip which is like what I like to call the male lip. Yeah. And then some of them have a like a, a female yeah. lip, which it has a recess inside, which this okay. connects into. So this makes sure that you don't actually put the pipe in the wrong one. Oh, um, nice. So yeah, and then the clamp obviously holds it together. The rule of thumb is never tighten everything once you put the pieces in, only kind of put the bolts on so they obviously don't go loose on their own. Have everything floating so that when the whole system's on the car, um, then you tighten everything at the end. Makes that way you sense. make sure that it sits nicely first. So this is... You could see, you've got the outer recess on the driver's side and the inner recess on the passenger side, so you can't actually screw that one up. So you'll see on here, you should see the opposites. So that means this one goes on the driver's side. Cool. And we need the Viva bands. So these are quick release Viva bands. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna get these through. That's correct. And then put the clamp in like this and it will lock in place. So that this clamp and also there and then the gun but even if there's a little gap like that it's fine no, lift it lift it lift it yeah it'll squeeze it that's the whole point of the v-band yeah leave it for now what's happening dub nation as you can see i wasn't in a vlog at the start as i was working but now i'm back um we're halfway through the install of this x-force exhaust on the g80 m3 compact that goes hard um so as you can see the boys they're nearly there and i'm just here leeching eating that's all i do i come here to eat homer feeds me and i go home Black tips because Eddie likes it black. Eddie loves them black. Yeah. He's very excited as you can see. <coughs> you know what I'd say? Once you go black, you don't go back. <laughs> oh. Looking nice. Hopefully, it sounds yeah, really good. I'm no, um, like, excited. Black I'm very excited. So, what we have Eddie is working on his own car. Modifications. What's this? Built, not bought, eh? Yes. Full built, not bought this car. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so thrashed. Oh, wait, this car will wake you up. It'll wake you up instantly. First, let's go. First startup on the X Force exhaust. X-Force exhaust on this M3. See what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded sick. That's 
mad, that's madness. That's hectic. It's very good. That's it, another episode on this M3 G80, um, that's all for now, we've got more mods coming in, so stay updated, stay tuned, uh, like, subscribe, and yeah, what do you think about the exhaust, let us know in the comments.